It was a real joy back in September to install Hassam Naoum as a canon of our cathedral here in Rochester. Dean Hassam is the Dean of St George's Cathedral in Jerusalem. He's been a good friend to our diocese over many years. He's welcomed uh, uh, lots of groups from parishes and from the whole diocese. Most recently, a joint visit from ourselves, our neighbours in the Diocese of Southwark, and our friends from Zimbabwe, African and European Christians going on pilgrimage together to the Holy Land. Hassam is an intriguing person. He has family connections in Nazareth. He is an Arab Christian. He's a Palestinian. He's an Israeli citizen and he holds all those elements within his own identity. While many indigenous Christians in the Holy Land of different traditions have taken opportunities to move to other parts of the world, Hassam and his family and others like him have taken the decision to remain. They sense a calling to continue to express Christian worship and presence and witness in the land of our Lord's birth. The biblical narrative of Christmas tells us of the journey which Mary and Joseph made from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And so off they went on that journey, a tough journey at that time. Remember that the Holy Land then was an occupied country with Roman forces and the people were therefore an oppressed people. And they had to make that journey. Mary, of course, was heavily pregnant. Many would have been on the move. We know that they were under pressure in terms of space where they could be when the time came for the baby to be born. And there it was in the middle of that convoluted and complex situation that our Lord came to birth. The one who we believe to be the bringer of hope, salvation, life, hope, light for all the world. There in the middle of the complexity of that situation. Today that same land is a place of complexity and of conflict. That same journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem would be a difficult journey today with checkpoints and other difficulties to encounter along the way. That land stands in many ways as representative of, iconic of, the conflict which is across our world in so many other places. It symbolises that conflict, especially where that conflict is about issues of race, religion, identity and land. And so as we recall that story once again this year, we pray for that land, the Holy Land, but we pray for so many other places where people are facing conflict and difficulty, where children and families are displaced. And we pray that the Prince of Peace will be real for people across our whole world. And I pray also for you in your family, in your home, in your community, that you may have a blessed and peaceful Christmas, that you will know the presence of the Prince of Peace with you.